Good morning and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. I'm Christy Shive and this morning we're visiting with Ann Hall Norris. She's an extension specialist for food preservation and food safety. Good morning, Ann Hall. Good morning, Christy. I'm excited to be here. I'm so excited that you're with us. And today you are going to talk to us about our holiday countdown for Thanksgiving. Right. It is so important to be organized and have a plan when the holidays roll around. And it's never too early to start. But even if you just have a couple of weeks, if you can start with a list, get organized and make a list, look at your calendar and have exactly what you're going to do on each day, I, I think things will be fine. <laughs> Yes, and if others are like me, it's always nice to have someone remind me of how I can stay organized. So Ann Hall, how should we get started? Well, the first thing you need to do is determine how many people are going to be coming to your Thanksgiving celebration because you're going to base the size of your turkey on how many people are coming. So you want to allow a pound or a pound and a half for each person. And then if you're planning on purchasing a fresh turkey, you need to go ahead and place an order for that as soon as possible. If you're buying frozen, you can, you can get that later on, but it's not as important. All right, so once we know how many people are coming, what do we do next? Well, you wanna plan your menu mm -hmm. and make a detailed grocery list. And so whatever you're gonna be making, you need to look at the recipe. You might be used to making something just for four people and now you have to make it for eight or 10. And so you might need twice as many ingredients. So make that grocery list as detailed as possible and include things uh, like storage containers for leftovers or for people to take extras home. Um, you may need a roasting bag or a roasting pan and go ahead and purchase disposable items, maybe cups or uh, paper plates. We're gonna do uh, disposable items this year and save the good dishes for next year. So Ann Hall, would this be a good time for us to start thinking about the items and the equipment we'll be using at home? Yes, so after you make that list, go ahead and locate your food thermometer, your roasting pan, maybe your slow cooker, or even your Instapot and air fryer. You can use those on Thanksgiving and that way you have um, more, more items to work with because your oven's gonna be filled with the turkey and the casserole. So locate your equipment and then you wanna start shopping. About two weeks out, you should be shopping for the frozen turkey and your shelf stable items and drinks. The second, the two days before Christmas, it's the worst day to be at the grocery store and probably anything you want is going to be gone anyway. So shop for those shelf stable items two weeks before. Right. There's nothing worse than getting to the grocery store and not being able to find an ingredient that you need. So when we have all of our ingredients, what's our next step? Well, you want to check that turkey about five days before Thanksgiving and make sure you have enough time for it to thaw you want to allow one day of thawing for every four to five pounds of bird. So go ahead and check that. And the best way to thaw your turkey is in the refrigerator. Put it in a pan or something to catch drips, put it in there and let it thaw naturally over several days. If you forget, it's no problem. You can put it in a sink of cool water and change that water every 30 minutes and it will thaw faster. All right, so we've talked about thawing and now it's time to cook our turkey. Right, and there are many ways you can cook it. You can roast it, you can deep fry it, you can put it in a slow cooker. No matter which way you choose, make sure you have a metal stem thermometer and you check the temperature. The internal temperature needs to be 165 degrees for that turkey to be done. All right, and now Ann Hall, we're just about out of time, but I can't leave without talking about leftovers. Any tips for us this year? Yes, you want to make sure you don't let your food sit out on the table or on the counter for longer than two hours. Go ahead and take the meat off the turkey and put it um, other items, put them in shallow containers and go ahead and store them in the refrigerator. All right, Ann Hall, thank you so much for being with us today. If anyone would like more information, how can they do that? Contact your local extension office. We have two turkey publications um, that you can One's talking about prepping and then one's talking about cooking. They're great publications. All right, great. All right, Ann Hall, thanks for being with us today. Thanks for joining us today on the Farm and Home Show, and we hope you have a great Thanksgiving.